Welcome back to Learn MoGraph. Today we're going to look at an exciting new feature in Adobe After Effects beta that just dropped yesterday. This new feature allows you to import your 3D models with pre-built animations and access those animations right within After Effects. This new feature in Adobe After Effects beta allows you to import GLB or GLTF 3D model files with embedded animation and be able to access them right within After Effects. This post was made in the Adobe community on March 11th and it pertains to the release of Adobe After Effects beta 24.4 build 13 release. And if you don't have this release of After Effects beta yet, you can open up your Creative Cloud app Go to your apps, go down to beta apps, and you should be able to download it and install it here. If you don't have the update, mine just came through yesterday on the 12th. Um, you can click here and it should update it. I think it's a rolling update, so not everybody got access to it at the same time. And this quick walkthrough, we're just going to show you how to prep your 3D animated model. And we're going to use a Mixamo character and we're going to bring it into Blender and then we'll bring it into After Effects beta and show you how you can access the 3D animations that are within it. So we're first gonna go to Mixamo. We're gonna go over to Characters. And we're just gonna pick a character here. We'll pick this guy. And we're just gonna download this character. And we'll just download the T-Pose for now. And that'll just take a second. Now we're gonna click Find Animations. And we're gonna download a couple different moves for this character to do. I kinda like the rumba dancing. So we're gonna click download and we're gonna include the skin and leave all of these settings as they are and make sure we're downloading the FBX. And we're just gonna go through and download a couple more of these animations. Now with our character and a couple animations downloaded, we're gonna open up a new Blender project. We're gonna go up to file, import, FBX, and we're just gonna to navigate to where we saved them. So we're gonna go, in my, in my case, to Downloads, and we're gonna download The Boss, which is the character that I downloaded. Okay, we're gonna frame him up, like so. And now we're gonna switch over to the Animation tab. And again, we're just gonna frame up our character here. And now we're gonna import our other animations. So we'll go to File, Import, FBX, and we'll download the Roomba dancing. And this is gonna give us two instances of our character. But if we go over to our timeline panel here and switch this to nonlinear animation, we'll be able to see the animation tracks that we have here. So we have our T-Pose, which is just one frame. We have our Roomba dancing, which is about 72 frames. So we're gonna build off of our first character here, so our armature one, and we're just gonna name this the boss. And we're going to push these buttons here, called push down action, push down action. And for our boss layer, we'll just move up our timeline so you can see it a little bit better. We're gonna click this button that says no action, and we're gonna go over here, add new, and we're going to select our armature 01, which is this action here. And we're adding that animation to this character. Now we can go to our armature and we can just delete it. And we're gonna do that for the other FBX files that we also imported. So file, import, FBX, Hip hop dancing, import. And something else you can do is you can twirl this down, go to animation and you can rename the animation. So we'll call this hip hop dance. And now when you go to the boss and you wanna add another action, click new, you should be able to just select hip hop dance and that'll add that animation to it. And just as before, we're gonna delete the armature and the other meshes that we do not need. And one final time, file, import, FBX. And this one was joyful jump, so we'll import that. Again, we'll twirl down this, twirl down our animation, and we'll rename this. 
jump. We'll go over to the boss, click push down, add another action, and this one is jump. And just as before, we'll delete our meshes that we don't need. Okay, so now we have our one character and we have the four animation tracks that are associated with it. So we're just gonna move all of these animation tracks down to a single line. And we'll twirl down our animation options here again and we'll just make sure that these are all named just for ease of use. Open this up so we can see them a little bit better. So this one was the T pose. This one here was the rumba dance, hip hop dance, and the jump. All right, I think we are ready to go. So we are going to go up to File, Export, and we're gonna export this as GLTF 2.0. And I'm just gonna save this to my desktop and call it the boss. And one important thing is you're gonna make sure you wanna go over to here with animation and make sure animation is checked so we get the animation tracks saved into our GLTF or GLB file. We're just gonna click export and now we're gonna hop over to After Effects beta and I'll show you how to import and access those different animations within there. All right, now we're over in After Effects beta, and as I mentioned before, we're in version 24.4.0 build 13, and that's the first version that this is available in. So we're going to go up to File, Import, File, and we're gonna import our Boss GLTF, GLB file. And we're gonna import our Boss GLB file, and click Open. And we'll just create a new composition. Call this boss animation. And we're gonna drag our GLB file down into our timeline here. And it shows up centered uh, or sort of off centered, but we can just rearrange this a little bit. And we can add a 3D camera by hitting Commander Control Option Shift C on our keyboard. Change this to one node camera. And now we can frame this up a little bit easier. So we'll just bring this back out, bring him over there. And it just has the first frame of animation here. There's no actual movement. Um, and typically to get movement in 3D files, you'd need to render out all of the frames then bring them in as an image sequence. But now in After Effects beta, you can twirl down our options here for the GLB file, and we have a new feature called Animation Options. And if we twirl that down, we get access to all of the different animations that are in here. So we have our T-Pose, which again is just static. We have our Roomba Dance, where if we play this, we have instant 3D animation on our character right within After Effects. We have our Jump, which again, just situated right there. And we have our fourth animation called Hip Hop Dance. One thing I did forget to note is that you do need to be in your advanced 3D workspace to be able to access the animation options in your GLB or GLTF files. It will not work in classic 3D or Cinema 4D. And the cool thing you can do with this, so if you click on here, you can see how long each of these are. So if we wanna to go to four seconds, 15 frames, and we can just trim our endpoint there and duplicate that. So we have our looping dancing animation here, and we'll change the second one to Roomba dance, and we'll just go forward two seconds, 12 frames until we hit the end of that. And we can just kind of duplicate and move these around. So we have our character who's kind of dancing and switching it up. We can take our camera, parent it to a 3D null that's in the center of the scene. And very easily and quickly, and make a cool 3D image sequence right within After Effects that would typically have taken 
many hours at least of rendering out your animations and then bringing them into After Effects and then there, if there was an issue, you'd have to go back in and re-render those animations. Whereas now you can just bake your animations right into your GLB file or GLTF file, bring it right into After Effects and you can just update one file and the animations are ported right over to After Effects immediately.